Kay and I were just talking a little bit about the dish you're going to prepare, but we'd love to, to see you do it and maybe tell us a little bit about what you're doing as you, as you go through. Okay, okay. So, this is how she's, she's going to do it. She's going to so we've got a spread there on the table um, of, of all the ingredients that are going to go in here. So she's, this is the pork that she's preparing. She's getting ready to mix this with pork. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I show you uh, about the I put the pork with the garlic. This is a mini pork. Mini pork. She she put the garlic okay. in the pork. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the pork has already been fermented. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, this uh the process that uh, we gonna uh ferment it. Okay, it's After salt. It's it's okay. And then I'm gonna put uh, some of the rice to make the fermented uh, perfect, you know. Rice, uh any pen cow cow like a cow soup, cow dip cow, you know. And it and it got to uh a steam rice, uh cow soup. Steam but just uh, rice. Uh, but just, just mean rice on yeah, like a cow to then bow rice, cup bread rice, uh, rice and white white uh, jasmine rice mix in there, but you have to steam and cook it first. Not raw, okay. not raw. Not raw rice, okay. right. So yeah, so, so she's adding, just for everyone, she's added garlic, uh, uh, cooked rice, jasmine rice, yeah. and pork. Yeah. And uh, this is pork gonna be... Beans. And so, and then know. this is a pork skin, pork skin. like a boy pork skin. Pork skin. Boy pork skin. Aha, uh -huh. oh, yum. Wow. I, I've eaten all the time, but I, I've never seen how they make it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> This my is new for all of us. My mom's favorite, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So she put the, the, the marinated mix in uh, the, the banana leaves. And that's how they're going to wrap it, it. So it ferments in the banana leaf. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Beautiful, because it, then it's get the aroma of the sure. banana leaf. Yeah. Mm. This come out like this. Wow. And then, about a day would be good, but two days is better. Okay. But uh, okay. And if, if, for, if someone here wants to make this but can't find banana leaf, can they use something else? Foil or... ใบตองใช้อย่างอื่นแรปแทนได้มั้ยคะอ๋อก็ได้ค่ะใช่ไหมถ้ามีอย่างเช่นว่าใบอ่อแคบบิชก็ได้ก็ได้นะคะโอ
Cilantro seed. Cilantro seed. I think coriander seed as well. Is that would be the same here? I believe. Okay. Dry chili, and then she soak it in water. Uh -huh. the, the, the big one keep the tender, but the small one keep the spicy flavor. Oh, oh good to know. Yeah. Um, there, to there was a question about, the, about fermenting the pork. Do you ferment it in the refrigerator? You steam it first and then... Uh, but uh, normally, normally uh, the way that is sun, we, we do, we uh, live outside. Mm. But uh, the thing that we serve at the USA, we have to um, keep it uh, right in the in the refrigerator. Mm. So it would work either way. It would work. Uh, it and I'm going to smell everything together when I come out like this. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for doing one in advance for us. <laughs> you see how much work and effort goes into to this cooking. It's incredible. Right. And that's just steamed, not seasoned, just steamed rice. Steamed, steamed rice. But you use the mix of uh, different kinds of just different kinds. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this uh, cook, uh, shredded uh, coconut meat. Oh. Wow. I mean, you can see, we've yeah. talked last week about all the different flavors that go into mm -hmm. Thai cuisine, and it's you can a, see it happening here. Yes, kapelam meat. I love the smell of the, the, the aroma. Uh -huh. of, I can smell it from. I know. Oh, okay. I know that's... <laughs> yeah, palm, palm sugar. Uh huh. It really is amazing what, what uh, seeing food can do. It brings up those, those senses, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. those and memories. Then, yeah, and this, uh, I put uh, a little bit of the salt. Yeah, this is uh, egg, white, and uh, egg yolk. Mm. Okay. Yeah, to put everything like uh, together, like uh, I have to mix, and they're going to fold with the, the uh, egg. That'll keep it together. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, very pretty place. Yeah, yep. Mix everything together. Mix really well, okay. Yeah. Um, is this a dish that you have on the menu at the restaurant? Uh, I, I have lamb so salad, you know. But after the show, I'm gonna do a special with the curry rice because, uh, like an authentic, you know. Mm. Ah, so anyone who is in South Florida must go mm. and try this for themselves. Yeah, mix mm. everything really well. <laughs> okay, she's gonna probably gonna form the, the rice ball. Form the balls here. And then after that, they're, they're deep fried, right? Yeah. You see, like this, they're gonna make like a ball. Like this, okay. And then they're gonna deep fry, okay? Nice. Yeah, like this. Okay. But uh, you know the time is short. I can I, I <laughs> yeah. can make some already. <laughs> yes. So she mm -hmm. already have the, the, the pre-fried one. Yeah. 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 It's the one mm -hmm. that I cook already. Okay. And then I'm gonna make the salad with the the, the curry rice with the the pork, uh, fermented pork. Now she can make the actual dish that after she's done. It's incredible how many components are involved here. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And is this usually eaten as a as a meal or a starter or with other things? Kind of like a kind of like a starter. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible how much goes into the starter. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the main dish. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. But sometimes you can do a lot of, of you know side dish like the Isan style. You yes. Have, um, you have lamb, you have namso, you have the you know all, all the all the Isan cuisine and eating like all in together and family style. You know that's how that's how Thai people like throughout the country. That's how we eat. We eat family style and with lots of side dish. Yeah. Okay. Right now we're gonna make the the salad. Okay, we have to break the the fermented pork. So she break the pork. People like the curry rice because uh, the texture is uh, crispy outside, mm-hmm. but they have the flavor inside. Mm. See the curry paste and there's some spicy from the the red curry paste. Oh, you don't see it comes in a, in a ball shape. So. Right, right. This is I, yeah. I didn't realize that when I had when I had had it at the restaurant. I guess so. It's so it can mix in better with the sauce later too. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, oh. I forget to to tell you about like uh, how long that I find the the uh, uh, curry rice. Hmm. It takes like uh, seven or eight minutes to make a uh, outside crispy. In high heat, look at uh, med- medium high. Medium high. And any uh, specific oil that you use? Uh, uh, vegetable, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I put the shallot slide, a scallion. Fried scallion. Mm-hmm. I put the shredded uh, Julian uh, ginger. Ginger, fresh ginger. Mm-hmm. Fresh ginger. The fried uh, peanut. Um, and so, um, one of the viewers, Leah, uh, asked if this was your own red curry paste recipe. So this is something that you. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, my uh, own curry paste. Let's uh, let's see that I serve at the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, you can see the recipe is. Uh, uh, don't have like an animal product. We serve the curry for the vegetarian people too. Yeah, Vegan so, or vegetarian, yeah. Wow, that's wonderful. Well, and thank you for sharing with us the, the recipe as well. I'm gonna certainly try my hand at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a big sauce. And this uh, lamb juice. And and again, uh, Siam Bistro, you guys are open now uh, currently, even though you're in Thailand, of course, your family is there running it, correct? So uh, uh, Yeah, my husband, the brother still uh, open the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. And, and you have uh, indoor seating is, is allowed there? I, I, it's hard uh, to stay on top of all the, all the rules in each state. Yeah, when, when I go back, yeah, I'm going to open the dining ah. room. Yeah. <laughs> right now, it's takeout and delivery. Is that correct? Yeah, t- takeout and delivery. Got it. Okay. Wow. And the presentation here. <laughs> beautiful. Wow. Really beautiful. Okay. okay. This is uh, the dish. And uh, it's oh my gosh! Thank you so much. And you guys will have a nice midnight snack, I guess. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, don't um, don't forget. Okay, because uh, when I go uh, go uh, go back to U- USA, I can uh, bring you the the lottery, Thai lottery. Oh, you get yes. the lucky for that. Oh, well, <laughs> and I would I would share some with you if I won from the lottery okay. brought from Thailand. It's only fail uh-huh. for the yeah. lottery. And, and this is uh, when I go, go back home at the, go back to the United States. This is the one that they're going to make special. Amazing. Uh, curry rice salad. Like uh, this one, no pork, and with the grilled, uh, uh, say, a bistro grilled chicken. Wow. Thank you so much. Even if I don't win the lottery, when I get down to Miami, I will feel like I won the lottery when I get to try oh. your food. Okay, welcome. Uh, thank you, Chef Waruni uh, in Thailand. Uh, be sure to check out both of these restaurants. We've dropped all of the info in there. Uh, thank you again to Thai Select USA uh, for their support and helping us put these uh, programs together.